Right, people, how to draw a peony flower. And I'm going to use the iPad on here. You can use paper, pens, whatever. The only real difference is I use reds to sketch out my stuff. On normal paper, I just use a normal black pencil. Red's really good on there for showing it, but on normal paper, it's kind of hard to rub out. Just going to create a new layer. So, yeah, here we go. Let's start off with a nice circle. And then we're going to build out the first bit, which is going to be the base uh, to build everything else on. So we're going to curve here, curve this line out, curve back. Then we'll do that sort of semicircle. So we're going to go one sort of big one, one small one, one here. And when we get to the bottom of this, I'm going to loop it. Go one, two, and then flick it again. And curve that back. So that's our base one. Now I want a couple to kind of curve in because I want to make a centerpiece here and I want it to kind of folding around it. So I'm going to create a curve off of here. I'll go curve, smaller curve, slightly wider one. Similar on this side, so I'm going to come up here slightly to a point. Curve, curve. I'm going to create one little loop just here so it looks like there's another leaf on the inside. To the inside I'm just going to do loads of little circles. There's loads of different stuff you can do for these, you know, especially in the sort of Japanese sort of style, you know. But I'm always quite a fan of this look. I think it just works. It's a nice centerpiece. It just stands out a bit different to the rest. Now I've only gone lightly because when we do our next layers, they're going to slightly overlap. Like one, one is going to come here. So we're going to curve from the bottom. Only a little curve. It's just going to overlap here. We're going to go curve. Big curve, little curve, out to a point. I'm going to curve this back and come there. And then from here, I'm going to flick in a couple of curved lines just on the inside of it. And we're going to do this a couple of times, just kind of build up shapes. So we're going to come here again. One, two. Actually, I don't really like that little one there, so we're going to go. One there, a little one, then a bigger one. And again, just bringing a couple of lines, just cutting into this shape. And I'm going to bring another one just down here. This one isn't going to really be overlapping, but it's going to have a bit of a turn to it. So we're going to go to a point, curve line, curve, curve, coming back. Now the inside part here, it's going to curve down, come here, take a little U-turn, and come back. Now another one here, this one's pretty much going to be going straight down. Very similar, so curve to a point, couple of curves back, curve, curve, curve in, curve back. A couple of flick lines just on the inside part there. And here on this outside part, I'm going to bring a curve, come this way, to a point, one curve, two curves, so it overlaps just a slight fraction there. Go around there. The one here that's not going to quite curve over, like so. The one just on the outside here, so you just burn up leaf by leaf. Just getting the shape you want. This one's going to come here. This one's going to come quite tall. Like so. I'm then going to add some leaves to sort of bold out certain areas. I like my leaves on the penny to be quite long, so I'm going to make a straight line. Curve out. Curve out. Give it a couple here. Like so. One, come off of here, put one just there, maybe one in the background, just there. And once I've done that, there's a few other little things I'm going to do. We're going to do these little sort of stringy pieces. So you're going to bring a line out, curve it round, and fill that line back around. Going to put in quite a few of these, sort of just twisting. And they can generally sit 
underneath and curve around in areas. And sometimes you can come out the outside. Like here, I'm going to do one just here. One in here. One on this outside part there. One. There. And one there. So now I'm just going to create a new layer. Slip black. Airbrush. And I'm basically just going to pin this part in now. So I get the right thickness I want. Yeah, that'll do. So yeah, I'm just going to go over everything we've done now, just in black pen. If you're on paper, I highly recommend using something like Unipin Fine Liners. They're very good pens. Something like a size 1 or a 0 0.8. So just going over all those lines. You know all those curves. Just keep building them up. Petal by petal. So we're getting there now. Right, so that's it for the bold outline. So I'm going to come back now for the final line. I'm going to do all those little thingy bits we said. Done that, it's going to get all these little circle bits done.
some of those little bits. And you turn that other layer off, and as I can see, everything nice and clear. Cool. And yeah, I'm just going to come in now. I'm going to bring this little line pretty close to the edges. Can do that on all the inside, well, all the bits that are kind of like um, you see the back of the petal. I'm not going to do it on the inside parts. If you're not too sure what I mean by that, just hang on a second, you'll see clearly. So, well, this bit folds over and folds over, that bit have it. This bit won't have it, but this bit will. You see what I mean? It's the, um, the way the uh, petals turn. Always on the outside, never on the inside. Keep going with it. But is that quicker than you think? It may be a little bit neater than I'm being. I'm being a bit quick with this. Try to keep it the same distance apart from the line the whole way around. I'm missing. Cool. So nice being able to zoom in and show you guys what I'm doing. When I was doing it on paper before, it was just really annoying. I will still do some on paper, but this just makes things a lot easier for me to show you what I'm doing. Alright, I'm just going to select a technical pencil here. And this is just basically if you have two flicks inside of the petals just don't get a nice sort of tip to the end so when you flick this one out you get like a nice tip at the end and that's what I'm going for it for those bits. So I'm just going to select a layer underneath now. Start with a black shade, I think. So I'm going to select my airbrush, my soft airbrush. And it's not going to be a great deal of black really, just certain little bits, just like on these edge parts, just here. Now on here, on digit, uh, digitally, we sort of you put a black shading in and then we rub out the outside part. If you're doing it on paper, just draw it inside the line because rubbing out can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Just gonna put some black at the base of these leaves. I know a lot of people get scared of using black sometimes, they get afraid to go too dark, you know, but you always want to make sure there's at least one part of your picture that is like pure black with just a little bit of shading. You know, it really just helps, you know, bump up the values, you know, so you can see from pure dark to the pure light. You know, it, just, it will really benefit your work, especially if they're in this kind of style. Let's 
look at there. A little bit there. raise any bits that have gone over the lines of that one them like so I've got those thin little lines just on that overturn bit try and remember that later on cool, now we've done that ready for some colour Kind of select like a nice kind of sort of jade colour for the minute. Just colouring these leaves. So I'm going to colour them in, just leave a little bit around the edge. You can do these in a million different ways, this is just one way of doing them. I try and every time I do a design, just do my leaves a little bit differently. So I can teach you guys as many ways as I can. So this is leaf bits done. I'm going to go for a nice kind of sort of purpley kind of tone. So I'm going to do the outside parts in this colour. I'm going to have lines you know, on that little inside bit, but don't worry too much because I'm going to go over those with a different colour in a way. I'm just plotting in the colour basically. If you're doing it on paper, don't do that. <laughs> just colour it inside the lines. This just speeds up the process so I can show you what I'm doing. All those bits that are like facing back. And then when I do the inside, I use a different colour, like I might use. I think we're here for a nice kind of baby blue. And you can just use a lighter version of the colour. But I really like the combination of this kind of like pinky purple. With baby blue, I think it just works really nice in flowers. So, yeah, I think I've got all these bits. It's going to select a much lighter version of this colour. I'm 
just going to go over those inside bits we said, these bits. All those little inside parts. Now, if you guys do already, you know these pictures. Now, you know, always feel free to tag me in them. I love seeing what you guys draw. I think I might start doing a competition once a month or so as well. Pick up my favourite and a favourite win something. I don't know, like a printer or a designer or a high five, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't worked the details out yet. Uh, if there's anything you think you know might be nice in a giveaway prize, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, and give away nothing like a bloody Ferrari, nothing like that. You guys can buy it on your own. But something artistic, maybe. Getting there now. Excuse me. Oh, so that's dancing with slicks. Nice baby blue. Let's see, this will work actually. It's a new feature on here, you can kind of drop and drag colour. Ooh, yeah, that speeds up. So just colour in all these sections. Oh, that's a good new feature. Pretty great, I like this one. So just colour in those sections in blue. Like so. What you can do, which I'm going to do, is now just let a slightly darker blue. Soft airbrush. Just at the base of each one. Just so you've got a little bit of shade with it. Like so. And then lastly we've got to colour in those little stringy bits and a bit of uh, grey I'm going to put in the background. So for those stringy bits I think I'm going to go for a nice golden yellow. Go. Or an orange. It's probably more orange than golden yellow. But it works. I did. It.
So now it's in the background, I'm going to put a little bit of grey shade just to make it kind of stand out. So soft airbrush, just a little bit of grey. Just flicking in just around the corner parts, nothing too crazy. And just erase any of those bits that fall in those leaves. Ooh, almost forgot. There we go. Find you in a little bit. <laughs> almost forget the centerpiece. Yeah, but there we have it, people. That is how to draw a peony flower or peony. I'm not 100% sure exactly how you pronounce it. Is it peony or peony? Let me know. Anyway, <laughs> comment, like, subscribe, yada yada yada. I'm the Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Scroll down.